Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at graphing exponential functions and how we can tell from the equation in the graph whether we're looking at exponential growth or exponential decay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph these two equations right here and see what they look like. So the first thing I want to graph is y equals 0 0.25 raised to the x power. Then I'm going to graph y equals 1.5 raised to the x power, and I'm going to compare what I see. So notice that both graphs have one side that is flat and one side that shoots up. So to determine which one represents growth and which one represents decay, I just need to think about what the graph is doing as I read it from left to right. So in the first graph that I drew, it starts high and then it flattens out. So this would represent decay. For the second graph, it starts flat and then goes up. So this represents growth. So how do I tell from looking at the equation whether it's growth or decay? Well, let's look at what's different between these two formulas. The first formula, my base was 0 0.25, and that gave me a decay function. The second graph had a base of 1.5, and that gave me a growth function. So if I want to test this further, I might try something like y equals 2 raised to the power of x, and then maybe y equals 0 0.2 to the power of x. So if I compare these two graphs, I'll notice that 2 to the x gives me exponential growth and 0.2 to the x gives me exponential decay. So what we can gather from this is that if my base is greater than 1, I will get a growth function, and if my base is less than 1, my graph will decay. And so when I'm looking at the graph, again, if it's flattened on the left, then it's growing. If it's flattened on the right, then it's decaying. So let's look at one more graph, or one more set of graphs, I should say. So what happens if I try to throw in a negative value? So let's say I do y equals negative 2 raised to the x. And y equals negative 0 0.2 raised to the x. So notice this time both of my graphs are going down. If I look at my first graph, it starts flat and decreases. So you might think that it decreasing makes it decay. However, because it starts off flat on the left, this is a growth function. It's just growing in the negative direction. Similarly, 
at negative 0.2 to the x, it starts low and then it flattens out on the right. So because our graph flattens out on the right, the y values are decaying even though they're technically moving in the upward direction. So what we're looking at here is a negative growth function and a negative decay function. One more thing to point out. What happens if we add a few extra numbers to this graph? So let's see what happens if I do y equals 2 raised x minus 3 power. Notice we took the graph. We get the same shape. It's still exponential growth because our base is greater than 1. But instead of flattening out at the x-axis, now it flattens out at the like at a lower point. So if I'm trying to figure out where that flattens out, so it looks like one, two, three. And if I highlight y equals negative three, that is the case. So this has been a vertical shift. If I change it to plus 3, notice once again, same shape, but the graph has moved up. So now I'm looking at a, another vertical shift in the positive direction. If I group the 3 with the x, we no longer move side to side, but rather it moves across. So these shifts work exactly the way they do with every other graph we've seen so far. Our vertical shifts do what they look like, positive moving up, negative moving down. But our horizontal shifts pull in the opposite direction as what they originally appear. So an x minus 3 pulls in the positive direction. As you can see, the point that was originally on the y-axis now lines up with 3 on the x-axis. If I change this to a plus 3, the graph is instead pulled to the left with the point that was originally on the y-axis now lining up with negative 3. That's all I have for today. I'll see you guys next time.